A few months ago, I embarked on a journey that changed my life. This is a story about how we purchased a haunted house off of the dark web and completely renovated it. At first, we thought the place was just abandoned, but we quickly found out that there was something else tied to it. On our first visit, we were greeted by nobody except for a few footsteps and strange noises. I guess it is an open house, right? Hello? What? <laughs> Yo, this is so creepy. Hello? What is that? We will be back shortly. Feel free to look around. After leaving that night, I felt some kind of connection that I, I just couldn't explain. Almost like something wanted us to buy the house. So that's what we did. The house is actually for sale. Yeah. And um, we bought it. Right on time. Let's do this. Welcome to the new Jester house. As you guys may know, I bought this place with my boy Hype Mike a few months back and since the day that we actually filmed an entire series here, I've actually renovated it and spent the last few months making it into its best possible version. But before we go inside, don't be fooled by the looks. It is one of the most haunted houses I have ever been. And now I have the honor to introduce you guys to our new haunted house. Welcome home. Ooh. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. If you're familiar with the series, then you guys can probably see a bunch of instant changes around the house. But I think the most important thing is we have floors! Floors, <laughs> actual floors. Actual floors in the house. Jesus, there's like trash everywhere, bro. So starting off with the main area, as you guys can see, there's actual life to it with a couch, some plants, a rug. We even got a nice TV here. When we first came into this place, there was no life to this at all. There was walls that needed painting, there was floors that needed floors, and this whole thing was fully trashed with dust, old newspapers and everything just needed a little bit of a change. Over here is where the most significant change happened as there was literally a hanging wall right here that we had to completely rebuild because there was absolutely no purpose at all. You might have a hard time to tell was here because there's floor above it and it's fully covered, sealing up and all. You even see like the line of where the wall used yeah. to be here. It's uh, pretty crazy how you can change houses like this. Um, we got a nice little table here where previously there was lawn chairs, garbage, wood absolutely everywhere, and now you can't even tell at all. I guess this is something to note too. We got a little closet here now. To could hide be, from could things. Could be useful to hide from things. There will eventually be a door here so that if I'm ever being attacked, I can just whoop. Where'd you go, bro? Gone. A drastic change from what it was before. The kitchen definitely needed some sort of renovations. There was holes in the ceiling, which there are no longer. Holes and in the floor. Holes in the, yep, holes in the floor. And there also was a different one of these, but uh, we made sure to uh, get that thing out of there. Now and it's nice. It is really nice. It's not that bad, right? It's way bigger than what it was before. And there actually was uh, cabinets behind me, but I felt the need to take them out so that I have no place to put my plates. So now my plates are unfortunately right there. Over here. The office. So this room was the first time we noticed something was terribly wrong with this place. There's gonna be an image on screen here that's gonna show the kitchen with this door in frame. And you're gonna notice there's gonna be something standing right here. Something that we've all seen. It's something that none of you will ever wanna see in real life. There's a dude with some kind of mask staring at the person taking the picture and a lot of other pictures too that we're gonna get into a little later. But just to note that this office was the first time where we saw this thing. Continuing down the hallway, as you guys can see, we got a nice, beautiful mirror. Hello there, guys. Hello. And believe it or not, we have an actual bathroom. Check this out. Wow. Oh my God. It is so different. There's there used to be no toilet there. And a sink? What? Tell me, 
It ain't so. What do you guys think? Huh? Comment down below if you think Jesse's the best handyman on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> and we also have the bedroom. Wait a minute. Aha! This right here used to actually be a room. A doorway to a room. And there's absolutely no trace of that whatsoever. Some kind of like paranormal power that you have or what's going so, on? So, there's actually a reasoning for this and we tested our luck playing a game of hide and seek, all four of us, when we were here after purchasing the house. The living room all together and that is because we have a very special game that we need to play. Spin the bottle. Oh yeah. <laughs> yes sir. <laughs> no. We're gonna be playing hide and seek. After finding my hiding spot, Hype Mike began to seek. While the others were in probably better hiding spots, I thought I was fine until we heard some noises. Boom! <laughs> the what? He's so dumb. No. He's Guys, so there's literally a sound in the wall. Wait, what? Here is where Jesse was hiding for the first time when we were playing hide and seek. There was actually a door that was just sitting here like this and he was hiding behind it and I was looking for him because I came to this room thinking someone was in this closet because I was hearing things in the washroom in this wall. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, he's literally right there. Oh, what the frig? What the frig is that? I hear something. After going through that experience with Hype Mike, I figured it'd be best if I turned this into a closet rather than a bedroom as I wouldn't want anyone sleeping in here while these creepy noises are happening. Leading into the master bedroom. Oh yeah. I think this room out of all of them has probably gotten the absolute most love and the most change. Starting over here, we actually had two giant holes on the side here. The walls were messed up. There was no floor. There was even wires hanging from the ceiling, which you guys can see. I kind of covered up there, but it's not the easiest. Um, but for the most part, it's almost unnoticeable. You can't even tell that there was holes here in the first place, which mm -hmm. I think is kind of cool. It's kind of cool. Now something you might have noticed as a common reoccurrence around this house is lights. We got lights literally in every single corner of the house covering every square inch because of one important thing. And that is the thing that lives in the basement. It's been a while since we've gone down there, but yes. before we do, I'm gonna to explain to you guys exactly what lives down there. Something about light and this thing don't work together. If the lights are on, you can't see it. Only when you are in the dark can you see this thing walking around. Instances where we've been down there and the lights have been off and we were able to see it and then we turn the lights on and then it's just gone. I don't really understand how this thing works or how to explain what the heck's going on with this thing. All you guys need to know is, as long as we're down here, we're gonna try to keep the lights on as long as possible because I do not wanna see this thing ever again. It's to be noted that it has a tendency to actually break lights. So you'll notice that around the house, I've actually installed fully LED lights pretty much everywhere because they're unpenetrable. So for the most part, these will stay on. I do actually have light bulbs on the dining table over there, but it's a risk I have to take for it to look good. So, welcome to the basement, and mainly right now, my storage room. <laughs> so, make sure these are on, and they seem to all be on, because for the most part, I do try my hardest to leave them on at all times. It's okay, I think it's worth it. But, you guys can see here, it's a pretty straightforward basement. Right now it's my storage because as again, I just moved in after renovating everything. That right there is the bathroom and- And the light is <laughs> off. The light is off. And now Holy is crap, off. that's so I'm scary. I'm gonna leave that like that and we're not gonna deal with that for now, okay? So, here's my little tour. 
just a plain old simple basement. I've actually run into this shadow, I like to call it, um, a few times while renovating the house because there were some times where it was a little late and um, a little lackluster in the light department upstairs. I did actually end up bringing these back up while I was renovating the house and eventually I brought them back downstairs. So those just light up the entire house so it keeps me nice and safe. But as I was saying, there's times where lights are off and the creature could be lurking. But yeah. I know that he's not in here simply because I locked him in that room over there. But before containing him, something happened. One day, driving here to work on the house, I parked in the garage and I got out and I noticed something. It was extremely hot. So first thing I decided to do was come down the stairs as usual and I came in this room. Right here is the heater. And I entered this room and it was so hot that almost instantly when I walked past this door, I started sweating to the point where I was like, what is happening? Why is it so hot? And I noticed that this right here was turned up to the absolute highest it could be. And right here, I'll show you, it actually directly connects to my garage. The floor in the garage is heated, so it was able to heat my garage to the point where I could feel it, and I don't know what happened. I found it a little weird, but I just changed the settings. I thought maybe I accidentally messed it up, and that's why it was super hot, so I didn't think much of it. And as I was walking back, I noticed something. All the lights were shut. Every single light down here was shut, except for the one that was under my head. And that's when I started hearing footsteps coming faster slower, faster, slower. And before I knew it, the creature was right in front of my face. I quickly slammed the door and called for help. I had nothing else to do. I was locked in my basement all alone with this creature. Thankfully, within the hour, I was able to get someone to come and turn on all the lights, so I was safe. But that right there told me I need to act quickly and figure out how to get this thing trapped in there for good. So in order to lock him in this room right here, I had to come up with a plan. I had to figure out what he hated most. And it was pretty simple, light. Now there's one thing that I know, and that is wherever it's dark, he's willing to go. So I had to create a sort of path to lure him into this area for good. Now that the upstairs was fully lit, the only option I gave him was to stay down here. And the only other place that he was known to be seen at was in that corner down there. What the heck? Whoa. So as I placed lights around the room to direct the path to this door, I realized I don't know how I'm gonna move him without being attacked. And that's when I thought of the good old flashlight. During the day, I actually set up security cameras in the basement to catch me trying to do something about it in case things went wrong and this is what I got. At three o'clock in the morning, I dared to come downstairs, turn on the designated lights and turn off the big lights. First thing, almost instantly, he appeared in the corner looking directly at me. That's when I decided to pull out the flashlight and try and direct him by flashing it towards him. And to my surprise, it actually worked. I walked him across the entire wall into the corner where I actually was able to lure him into this room right here and close off the door for good. Now since doing this, I've actually not had any issues with it, except for a few you know, whispers and knocks and stuff like that, but no encounters. Now this wouldn't be a gesture video if I didn't show you guys anything paranormal. So I'm actually gonna give you guys a sneak peek of what's actually behind that door as it is probably one of the most terrifying things I have ever seen on this channel. Now we gotta be as quiet as we possibly can to not upset the creature. I'll turn off the light on the camera. I'll grab it and I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about.
You see it? You see it? Oh, oh my god! god. What? what did I say? Dude. It's brief and terrifying, right? How did you right? get that thing locked in there like that? Dude, don't worry about it, okay. Let's just, let's just go ahead and end it. Oh boy, okay, well, I guess before ending the video, I'm gonna show you the last part of the house. That is the ginormous backyard. Woohoo! So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, go down below and smash 30,000 likes. And if you guys love the new house, comment down below what your favorite part of it is. And I really hope it's not the part with the uh, creepy guy in the basement. Also, I would love for you guys to comment down below what kind of videos you guys wanna see me film here because you guys know we got this entire place to ourselves. And a shout out to my boy, Hype Mike. He is linked down below. None of this would be possible without you guys. So thank you guys so much. Until next time, Jester's out.